that it's your spiritual. Let my spirit and your spirit in the right spirit. Then we may have a you know, to relate to each other. Hey, y'all with me? Y'all get this here? Y'all got it? Y'all got it? Y'all got it? Say all of those Jesus. You know why I ain't going my scripture over y'all? Not the teeth. But it's just get late. Ain't y'all good? Come on, put your hand together and give y'all some prayer. And I want to confirm something to you. She eats your mind. Knock and do she will. Seek with sincere heart, and it won't be long. You can't trick God, you can't fool God. Amen. You be with a real heart. And I'm telling you how you get in. It's through His grace and His mercy you get in. You never qualify to get in. He's already qualified you. All you have to do is see. And you begin to know you in. Your mind begins to transform. You begin to surprise yourself. You begin to see things and be real things. People, the people don't understand. That's part of being saved. Some things, look at When they fulfill the Holy Ghost, they spoke in tongues. Now when David, when David was, when Saul was filled with, when David, Saul became king, he began to prophesy. People don't know one of the first things of knowing you filled with the Holy Ghost, the end of spiritual rivers is a prophesy. Prophesying when you first come into the room of the Spirit and begin to see some things, you're the first thing, one of the first things you do is prophesy. Study, look it up. Go to David, go to Saul. Look at the New Testament, look at the look at the, up there, finish, look, they spoke in other tongues. But look at the old when they begin to be called into their destiny, when they was picked and chosen and known by God. This is a different when they fulfilled the Holy But when he was anointed by God to become king, he prophesied. When you enter into a spiritual realm, there's some things you do when you know you're in there. The revelation that y'all, I don't know if y'all are ready for the revelation that might be a little too deep for you. Hang got a good I hope it's a little deep for you. Make it go deep in your body. That's what you got. That's the teaching. I'm sorry. What y'all going to do with me? When God made me do it, uh, he said, no more preachers like him. He said, I'm only going to make one of them. He said, that's all the world needs, one. Ain't got to do it. Say hallelujah. Put your hand together. Give y'all some praise. Y'all got this? Y'all got this? I want y'all to receive. I want you to receive your sight today. I keep saying, I don't want you to receive your sight today. I know you're a believer. I know that you say you're saved. I know that I, I want you to receive your sight back. Because you, you got to stop attending. You got to stop concerning yourself with your believing. When you know you believe. But you just can't see. Because that will cause you to walk by faith. That will change your praise. That will change your worship. Make yourself begin to visualize. Close your eyes. See, I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm, I'm going to give y'all the key. I'm going to give you the key. The key is meditation. When you begin to believe something, you meditate on it, and begin to meditate on it, it begins to come a vision. And with a vision, a, a, a true bit in the room of the spirit, you begin to get excited. It will affect your being. The problem is that saints don't meditate enough on the right stuff. They meditate on getting this and getting that, but they don't meditate on the relationship with Jesus Christ. Enter into the spiritual realm. I see myself right now walking through the door. <laughs> oh, let me go. Woo! Woo! See, that's how it is. And I'm thinking it. That's real. I'm trying to stop the child. Give me a minute. I'm trying to bring it. Because I spoke it, I seen it, and I did it. 
just trying to calm down. That's how I really feel. And that's how easy it is. But it's not easy if you ain't real. If you don't believe it, you can't obtain it. But if you believe it and meditate on it, you will obtain it. For all y'all money people, you can meditate on a need or a want and you begin to see it come to you. And you begin to get excited about your day and you haven't got it yet, you'd be so happy. All the day long, you'd be happy. Hey, my God. And before you know it, it just come. Yes. But you was already in faith. Come on through the day. God is the day. You know what we did. Leave me now. I'm sick of you. The world. You ain't seen it. You ain't. You ain't better than who's seen it. Because it changed your whole You be walk around the house happy and, and, and you just meditate on your relationship and you begin to meditate on your relationship and you get to sit there and you, meditate, and you get to and you get so excited and you get up and you, you forget you forget that ain't changed yet. <laughs> <laughs> and you just be so happy. And God does it. See, guys, you got to remember your faith. Your faith please God. So how I get to the place with my faith, my action, is what I'm believing through meditation. See, people want healing. They don't know they're healing. You even get a senior center, you get to say, speak meditation, I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm sure. I'm getting you the method right now. I'm giving you the method. This method. You begin to say, whatever your situation is, you begin to sit down and you begin to meditate on it. You meditate on it until you see it. And when you see it, and when it's in the room of the Spirit, you begin to feel it. You, the, the happiness was on you, come off you. You begin to feel happy. You begin to feel good. That's when you get up and begin your day is wonderful. Your life to change. Why? Because it changed in the room of the Spirit. And before you know it, you walk in the room of the Spirit and your faith, in your faith, things be coming against you. You say, oh, that's all right. God got it. God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. They know it manifests in the natural. That's how it works. But you praying, ain't meditating, and call yourself walking my faith with your knees and say, okay, nobody stay, don't want to be around you, don't want to talk to you. of meditation until the meditation become a vision and the vision become a feeling and a supernatural and spiritual that brings you to the spiritual realm and when you get up from that place you begin to feel good about your life because what you retain in the realm of the spirit you have not seen it now you know it's going to be alright now you know God will work it out oh yeah 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 and the enemy comes different ways. He can't stop you. You just, because it's tough, going to come to try what? Your faith. Now you got faith to be tried. Because <laughs> you don't see the room of the Spirit. Now you got something to be tried. How are you being tried by something you ain't never experienced? That's your substance. I'm being tried. No, you ain't being tried. Your faith ain't being tried because you ain't got none of that area. And you ain't activated none of that area. Because you have not been praying and you didn't visit out and you ain't seen it and the enemy. What are you coming at you for when your situation already messed up? He's messing with what you've already got. He ain't messing with the eye of my sister. You supposed to be in the room of the Spirit dealing with what God already done. done. So the enemy can get you because you're still in the natural. After you don't pray. It was never a transformation. It was never a transition. Ay, ay, ay. So it don't work no more. You lose your sight. You come to church and you get religious. You sit around. You throw your hands. You go back home. Stop being in church today. Come on in. 
Because that's all you get. You ain't getting nothing. You be up. Oh, you think you get is a ticket to heaven? <laughs> but I got a news for you that ticket ain't that. Because you got to first believe in the kingdom of the devil and walk in. You can't. I'm gonna tell y'all this. I'm gonna get y'all out here because I, I see y'all waving your dollars. You cannot go to heaven if you can't believe God here. Amen. Stop thinking you're going to heaven and you can't believe in God, Jesus Christ here. You can't believe what he done here and walk by faith here. How in the world you going to walk through the earthly gate? Unbelievers cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Is it right that? Help me stop me from wrong and I pull out the dictionary. So I can make you put it back up. Because I'm giving you stuff you've been hearing all your life. But I'm giving you revelation with it. I'm going to take it. I'm giving you revelation because without revelation there's no room. You've been reading the Bible all your life and you ain't changed. Ain't no room. Growth only comes through revelation. That's real stuff. Let me go to sleepy eye over here.
in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare in the mighty name of Jesus that my spiritual eyes come over now. Let's all stand.